Why would someone take the time to schedule an appointment with you in your calendar and then not show up for the call? You might be thinking, it doesn't make sense, right? Well, if someone does schedule a sales call with you, but they don't show up, it's most likely because they were somewhat interested and that's why they scheduled the call in the first place, but not interested enough to actually show up for the call if something else more important comes along. So the big question is, how can you avoid this? And how can you get more potential clients actually showing up for the sales call that they scheduled with you? Well, it all depends on what you do before someone schedules an appointment with you. So here are five tips on how you can get more people to show up for a sales call with you. Tip number one, show prospects a video before they schedule a call. If a potential client watches a video that explains how you can help them and who you're a good fit for before they schedule a call, they are more likely to only schedule a call if they are genuinely interested in working with you. The video itself is kind of like having a salesperson working for you 24 seven. And the video itself will help you pre-qualify the people you speak with and filter out the wrong kinds of people so that you only speak to people that are your ideal clients. The way I do this and my clients do this is by using a video sales letter or a VSL. And if you want to learn how to create a video sales letter in more detail, then check out step two of my five steps to getting predictable, high quality sales appointments each month with your ideal clients by going to salesappointmentsmasterclass.com. Tip two, get prospects to fill out an application form before they speak to you. So why is this important? Well, an application form allows you to ask questions that make sure your prospects know how you can help them. For example, you could ask them what their budget is or ask them what kind of services are they interested in before they actually speak to you. And then depending on their answers, you can automatically filter out the ones that are not a right fit for you. As an added bonus, anyone who fills out an application form is also more likely to show up to the call because they've invested more time with you before scheduling that appointment. Tip three is to decrease the time from setting the appointment and the sales call itself. So why is this important? Well, put simply, the longer people have to wait from the time that they schedule a call to the time that they speak to you, the more likely they will be less interested in how you can help them. So it's best to let them schedule a call and speak to you as soon as realistically possible. So I would recommend that in your calendar schedule settings, don't let people schedule an appointment more than seven to 10 days out. Tip four is to send automated reminders. Sometimes people are genuinely interested in what you do, but they're not very organized and they can forget. So by sending an email reminder or even better, a text reminder can be a great way to get them to show up on the appointment so that they remember that they scheduled this appointment. For example, if you're using Calendly, you can easily toggle a setting to turn this feature on automatically to make sure that any prospects that schedule a call with you, they will get email reminders and a text reminder. So be sure to double check your own calendar settings in whatever scheduling tool that you're using to make sure that both email and text reminders are turned on. Tip five is to make it easy to reschedule. So sometimes unexpected things do come up and get in the way. And if that's the case, rather than getting a prospect to cancel the call altogether, make it easy for them to reschedule their appointment. And again, if you're using a scheduling tool such as Calendly, people can easily reschedule an appointment at the click of a button. 